Hello, this is the latest Superplay video. Um, this is looking at issue 16 from February 1994. Uh, the cover game is R-Type 3. So obviously that's a big featured um, review. Uh, as well as that, you've got a few other uh, games that stand out on the cover. Uh, Zool down there, uh, Actraiser 2, uh, John Madden. And uh, obviously there's going to be a load more stuff inside as well. Uh, price still £2.50. So, like I mentioned in the last uh, couple of videos, 1994 was a massive year for Super Nintendo. Loads of great games uh, released for it and, well, obviously we'll end up covering some of those uh, as we go through the magazines. So, first thing is a preview here for the game Zombies, also in, in America as Zombies Ate My Neighbours by Konami. Uh, came out on the Super Nintendo and the Mega Drive. Absolutely fantastic game. Uh, loads of levels, loads of monsters. If you're into your horror games, you see loads and loads of different nods to uh, horror icons and sci-fi and things like that. Well worth checking out. Uh, then we've obviously got the editorial page. Uh, obviously, you know, the thoughts of uh, the editor there and everything. And then we've got the contents. Uh, picture here, uh, feature on Rick Mail, sadly no longer with us. Um, Massive, massive fan of Rick Mail. Um, loved obviously things like Young Ones and Bottom, and I love the um, Nintendo adverts he did uh, back in the 90s. So, first up, we have got some news here Lethal Enforcers on the Way. Uh, this is a game I've recently played over at Arcade Club because uh, I've not played it for a very long time. Uh, these light gun games, you know, were quite popular, things like Mad Dog McCree and stuff like that. Um, not really a massive fan of them, so. You know, I can't really comment too much. I know um, it came out, you know, with the, um, oh, I'm sure it was called the Justifier or something, the light gun that came with it. Uh, you know, a big bulky blue uh, pistol to obviously make it look non-realistic uh, or unrealistic, I should say. And then we've got a bit of news here on a um, new camera slash camcorder, gadget news. Um, and also a little... Um, Super play profile here for Will Overton, the uh, artist, someone who have tagged in quite a few of these videos and been uh, kind enough to speak to me while I've uh, chewed his ear off. So moving on, we've got a bit of news here for Biker Mice and Mars, um, Benny Williams from the Retro Gaming Discussion Show, a massive fan of that game. Some battle, uh, Super Battle Tank 2 news, another uh, controller available to buy. Like I said, there were loads of third-party controllers. And then we've got the usual Live From Hell City, which looks like a Mario special with loads of uh, TV shows, you know, uh, featuring Mario in them. It looks absolutely bonkers. Then we've obviously got the Fancy Quest. So again, you know, all your usual uh, columns and everything like that, uh, each issue. Um, see if there's anything that jumps out. We've got some news here on Dragon Quest 1 and 2, Final Fantasy 6. Um, those are the only ones that actually jump out at the moment. A uh, bit of news here, Mario's Time Machine, yet another joystick down here, bit of news. And then we've obviously got what people are playing at the moment, a Super Play Hot List. So we've got Striker, Pit Fighter for some strange reason, because uh, it's an awful game. Mortal Kombat, Secret of Mana, good choice, Cool Spot. Good choice, and uh, Aladdin on SNES, excellent choice. Uh, so some really good games there. And then we've got a competition here to, um, well, is it to win Shadow Run? Uh, but basically a Shadow Run themed competition. Um, anyone who's seen the last couple of videos, Shadow Run is one of my favourite Super Nintendo games and one of my favourites uh, hands down. And then you've also got the uh, Blabbermouth with Chris and Tell, Abbott for Sunset Riders. Um, anime world uh, again nothing really jumping out uh, that I recognise I think at this time I must have uh, stopped um, you know watching the videos I think I spent about a year or so watching them though but anyway um, then we've got a bit of uh, news here from Interplay um, who did Lost Vikings and uh, Claymates and then we've got the charts here Mario All Stars at number one in the UK chart UK import chart Secret of Mana um, oh god, Japanese chart, uh, Kurashitsuko Road, never heard of it, was number one, and Mortal Kombat number one in the American charts, obviously very popular at the time. And then here we have 
the uh, two-page Rick Mail interview, so he was advertising the massive Game Boy games at the time, so here we've got uh, Zelda Link's Awakening, advertising stuff like uh, Street Fighter, just all sorts of stuff really. I'm pretty sure he did Street Fighter anyway. Um, but yeah, it, it was just like really well known. It's like when we had um, Robin Williams and his daughter advertising Nintendo as well, you know, they really got out the A-listers um, back then. Uh, then we've got an advert here for some ocean games. So we've got Dennis, Jurassic Park, Ran the Half, which, yeah, it's not too bad. Mr. Nuts, solid, but still not too bad. And then we've got some more SNES troubleshooting. So like we've seen uh, on the other videos, you know, um, more of your tech tips and everything like that to obviously improve the sound, picture, whatever. This one obviously looking at your scart leads and everything like that. And then we've also got some uh, US report uh, on upcoming games. So we've got Super Street Fighter 2. Uh, we've got, um, oh, what's it called? Is it just called Merlin? Um, but anyway, <laughs> so it's going through, again, all the different companies, you know, what they are uh, planning to bring out. And then we move on to the reviews. Now, our type 3, not into my shooting games, but it's in the Super Play Top 100. So it's a game that I do need to buy at some point. You can get it on PAL. It does cost quite a bit of money. I think it's 70, 80 quid. Last time I looked, they're giving it 83%. So, again, I've played the original R Type, you know, but I've not played uh, any of the others. Oh, Super R Type I played as well, you know, on Super Nintendo. Um, then we've got Actraiser 2, uh, obviously a sequel to Actraiser 1. Um, quite different. Actraiser was absolutely amazing. It had the God Sim uh, mode as well type thing. Whereas Actraiser 2 is more of a hack and slash platformer type thing. Um, not actually played this one. Didn't really appeal to me. 69% they gave it. So obviously not as highly rated. Uh, but again, still quite um, cost quite a bit to get. Uh, what else have we got here? Battletoads and Double Dragon, the ultimate team. 37% uh, sort of says uh, otherwise. I have played this on uh, a ROM on the GXD. Really, really not impressed by it at all. Um, like I said, I love struggling to beat them ups, but that one just doesn't do it for me. And then next up we have got Zool, done by Gremlin Games. 65% on the Super Nintendo, obviously. Massive game on the Amiga. Uh, it was going to be, you know, the big uh, platforming hero. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, not got a great review there at all. And then we've got Brett Hull Hockey, 78%. Not into my ice hockey games at all. That was it. When I was thinking Merlin, Young Merlin. There, the answer was more or less in front of me. 77%. Bit of a, I think, a action y type RPG adventure. Um, it's a game I've owned years ago but never actually played. Uh, they've given that 77% though, so. Not terrible, I think it's when you can still get quite cheap as well. Then we've got NBA Showdown, 89%, uh, so quite a decent rating for that. And I have it here for Total, uh, Lazen on the cover, and I actually own that issue again. Then we've got T2 the arcade game, uh, 71%, so you know, a decent score, you know, um, as, as light gun games go. And uh, then we've got a couple of awful, awful rated games. More film tie-ins. We've got Cliffhanger, 22%. Last Action Hero, 21%. Films are, you know, all right, but the games just always, always got bad reviews, you know, like in uh, every single uh, magazine back then. And then we've got an RPG called Paladin's Quest. Now, this is one that I've owned years ago, well, about 10 years or so now, 62%. Uh, so it's not something that I actually really bothered playing. Um, just didn't stand out for me at all. Uh, and then just on this advert here for this Zap, who were one of the big mail order companies, uh, advertising a US Super NES, 120 quid, Art of Fighting, 60 quid, Actraiser 2, 50 quid, Secret of Mana, 55 quid. And I remember with Secret of Mana, you did need, I think it was the Pro Action, not the Pro Action we played, the uh, Universal Adapter. You needed an OK adapter to obviously play the American Secret of Mana, because I remember my mate having one. Madden, FA, uh, Madden F NFL 94, 85%. I feel a lot the same to me. I know it's a very blatant thing, you know, sorry, passive thing to say, but just doesn't interest me at all. And obviously, everyone knows what Konami are like now, you know, it's shadow of, of, of themselves. Just look at the games there. All fantastic ratings, popping Twin B, Batman Returns, 
Tiny Toons, Cybernator, Zombies, Sunset Riders, all fantastic games and all highly rated. Then we've got a guide here for Zombies Ain't My Neighbours. You do need it, it gets quite tough, you know, 55 levels and you only get codes every uh, every four missions. Um, then we've got a Solstice 2 Equinox guide, a game that I do need to try but god it's hard. Then Empire, so well, Super Empire Strikes Back guide. So quite a few pages there. Then we've got an advert here for Turtles Tournament Fighters. And then we've got the Game Freak with all your more uh, question and answers. Bit of stuff here on a Syndicate, which uh, was due to be coming out on Super Nintendo. Uh, Ask ad has gone. It's now Ask Alan. So any questions, Ask Alan. Uh, cheats here for Aladdin, Striker, Rock and Roll Racing. Because uh, there was a... Um, a cheat where you could have uh, Olaf the Viking from um, Lost Vikings, uh, which is another title by Interplay. You did rock and roll racing, you got him as a racer. Then we've got Street Fighter 2 Turbo Combo Guide Part 3, so obviously more tips there. Uh, advert here for PC Gamer uh, showing Sam and Max. Advert here for Games Master, I remember that one with your little 3D sort of view. Magic y finder thing. Sorry, just babbling there. <laughs> and then we've got a load of mail order things. Then we've got the Nintendo Hotline page, which is now obviously a uh, main feature every month with uh, obviously what they were being asked. Then we've got an advert here for Edge talking about the Sega Saturn, the Sony PSX slash PlayStation, the Jaguar. Uh, feature on Argonaut Software, so obviously it's uh, issue 5 then, so Edge still really uh, early days for that. And then uh, again the what's hot, what's not. Uh, what's hot, hi-fi quality sound, hence the feature. Uh, Nintendo Sky TV ads, the number of SNESs sold at Christmas, and what's not, Super Empire Strikes Back and Aladdin Codes. And people who can beat games, oh sorry, people who can beat James at Street Fighter 2. And then we have got the last couple of pages, sorry about that, uh, we've got again a few more letters, the back issues page, this is what I mean now, what cart has changed, it's set out differently, it's just listed, so it's just telling you a little bit about it rather than an actual little paragraph, so it's just a uh, name of a game, what it came down on, Japanese, uh, PAL, whatever, the percentage, a very very brief description, and that's it, obviously what 16 episodes in quite a lot of games to cover a few pictures down the side and then basically that's it and then you've just got the supermarket classified ads and then uh, it's valentine's day well around this time it was so nico's in love with uh, an inflatable tiger um, and then you've also got the next month page here showing tips for turtles tournament fighters and shadow run and uh, a few other things and then on the back F1 pole position so like I say that's just a very 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 quick look um, at issue 16 um, I think I've only ever owned a couple of those games as mentioned and uh, again keep commenting keep watching and I'll get episode 17 up as soon as possible okay thanks a lot I'll see you soon bye